Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine and you must be enjoying your life. Today, we will discuss about animal poison. Here, I will be talking about some of the common features of poisonous snakes. We have already discussed about common cobra and banded karate in part 1 of the lecture. If you haven't watched the lecture, go check it out right itself. Here are some of the common features of common karate. They are commonly known as Bangara cerulus or Indian karate, common karate, maniyar, kavatya. Then the common karate that is zoologically named as Bangara cerulus is also known as Bengal karate. Now, Bengal, West Bengal is a state in India. It might be found a large number in Bengal which is why it has derived its name from. It is highly venomous snakes of genus Bangaris in the Elapidae family. It is native of Indian subcontinent as I have already told you the link between its name uh, Bengal Karate and Indian subcontinent. Bengal is a state in India and of course due to the abundance of the snake in West Bengal it has derived its name. It is one of the big four Indian snake that inflict the okay. So it is one of the most commonly known snake and responsible for causing death due to snake bite. So now you can get the nature of this snake, how venomous it is, how dangerous it is. It is not only found in our India subcontinent but also in Pakistan and Bangladesh, which is why it is reported to be one of the most venomous snake to cause bite of a human being due to snake bite. Okay, due to death of a human being due to snake bite. Now, here are some of the common features of banded karate that are noticed so far. It is steel blue or can be black in color. Fine. There are some single paired white bands that are present on the back of that snake. Here have a look at the image of the banded karate. Fine. Then its pupil are round. We have already seen that when we were discussing about the common cobra, its pupil were round as well. Something like this black round pupil were found in the uh, common cobra. Similar to like that of the common cobra, banded karate also had this type of pupil and now common karate too fine then some of the large hexagonal snakes are oh sorry scales are present on the back of the snakes how does a hexagon look there are six side of a hexagon this is a hexagon hexa means six so a hexagonal hexagonal scales are commonly found on the back side of the body of the banded karai the fourth infralabia scale is largest in them and other labia are smaller as compared to the fourth labial scale. These are the labial scales. Now, the fourth one, first, second, third, and this is the fourth scale. I hope you can look. Uh, I will change the pen color here. Fourth labial scale, the largest one. The rest other scales are smaller as compared to the fourth labial scale in case of common karate. Subcaudal ventral scale are unidivided and they are entire fangs are somewhat short as fangs this is the front teeth like this are mostly short and they are situated anteriorly in most of the poisonous snakes you can observe the fangs are quite short and they are located anteriorly then again venom is neurotoxic in most of the snakes you will observe that venom is mostly neurotoxic but in some of the cases there can be a myotoxic venom present now if we look at this saw scaled viper their zoological name is acus carinatus whereas commonly they are also known as carpet viper or fusra they are c shaped somewhat like this and they rub their scale in order to produce some kind of hissing sound they are native to africa middle east and india along with sri lanka and pakistan middle east nation can you name some like uae and Qatar and these all are the Middle East nations so it is native to that places now some of the features they are highly aggressive in nature means they can get angry don't tease them don't disturb them don't let them show their show colors to you so they are quite aggressive in nature they are viviparous oviparous means holy egg viviparous means who directly give birth to their progeny without the egg being the intermediate you know without producing egg so they are vivi parents in nature their color can be brown and somewhat they are 1.5 to 2 feet this is larger 
than rest of the normal snakes that we encounter in our day to day life then their head is somewhat triangular and they have circular scale in previous snake that um, common character that we discussed about we saw that there were hexagonal scales throughout the body of the snakes scale differ from snake to snake in size in their shapes like in case of the sword scale viper there are some of the uh, small circular scales okay then arrow mark and spear mark can be present on their head their pupil are vertical they are not round their pupil are somewhat vertical then diamond shape marking is present entirely in the body of the snake somewhat like this this is a diamond shape marking you can observe this marking on the back side of the body of the sole scale viper their belly scales are broad and they cover the entire breast when we were discussing about the difference between poisonous and the non poisonous scale sorry snake i taught you that there are large um, belly scales and this belly scales cover the entire portion of the body of the snake this is a common distinguishing feature that is observed in the case of the poisonous snake it helps us to distinguish between a poisonous and a non poisonous snake, uh, snake on the basis of the scale on the basis of the belly scale that is found fine the scale of viper are somewhat serrated and they are saw like which is why they are known as a saw scale viper why this name is given to the snake because of the shape of the scale that is found in this snake fangs are finely uh, long fangs uh, common cobra head small fangs now our saw scale viper has some long fangs has got some long fangs somewhat like this now it actually makes snake look more scary and as already stated its nature is super aggressive so it definitely suits them then it they is curved and they are channelized and hinged now this is it for the day i hope you have liked the part 2 of the lecture in part 3 of this series we will discuss about rosal's viper along with sea snakes this is going to be the last part of this series thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe our channel